Hello and welcome to another Ultimate Handyman video. Um, today we're te testing uh, a couple of light switches using a multimeter. Uh, now these multimeters, some of them can be picked up for, for less than 10 hour in shops like map things. Some are a bit more advanced. If you're doing any electrical work around the home they can be invaluable. Buy the best you can afford. This is quite a basic meter from B&Q. So what I've done is I've set it to the resistance scale, which is measured in ohms. That's the symbol like an upside down horseshoe, for want of a better word. I've got it set to the lowest resistance range. And at the moment you can see, I hope you can see, that it's showing OL, which stands for over limit, as in it's, it's an open circuit. This one also has an audio function on it, which means that, that if there is little or no resistance, you will get a beep. Now to test that it's working, you just take the two probes and touch them together. Now hopefully you can see that I'm getting a tiny amount of resistance. And hopefully you can hear the bleeper. Okay. So to test our switch is quite simple. This is a, a dimmer switch, which I suspected was um, faulty. So we take our two probes, one into where the live goes, the other one into where the switched live would go. And operate the switch. As you can see, hopefully, We've still got nothing happening there. And what you would expect if the switch was working would be for the little buzz of a sound. Here's a known working switch. Same again. It doesn't matter which way around these probes go, by the way, when you're doing this. Okay, so there's your two probes. And there you go. We've got a we've got a tone and 